This episode of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast is brought to you by Legacy Staffs, which are crafted by the Brazos Walking Stick Company in Waco, Texas. You can go to BrazosSticks.com and use the name Mac Payne, one word, at the checkout and get 10% off your next order of the Legacy Staff or Cane of your own design. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the Vietnam Veterans News Podcast. News of interest about Vietnam veterans from a Vietnam veteran. Now, here's your host, Mac Payne. This is Mac Payne here with episode 1819er of the Vietnam Veteran News Podcast. News about the Vietnam War and the brave veterans who served there, as told to you by yours truly, a Vietnam veteran. This episode is going to be nothing more than one big public service announcement. It has to do with the COVID-19 virus. We all know the COVID-19 virus is running crazy these days around the world and disrupting everything. Even though it's a very serious thing now, I would not be surprised that in a few years, if you ask someone, what is COVID-19? Probably the answer will be, what is that? That's how things go in our society. But today it is a very serious thing, and that's the message I want to convey to you on this podcast. You probably hear people, like I do, that are sort of macho about the whole thing, and they say, well, we don't really need to wear masks. This COVID-19 crisis is nothing more than a put-on thing by the Trilateral Commission, just to screw up the governments of the world so they can take over. I don't believe that theory. I have become a real believer that COVID-19 is serious. Recently, a good friend of mine right here in Lake Placid, Florida, all of a sudden couldn't breathe. They rushed him to the hospital and found out that he was eat up with COVID-19. He spent over three weeks on the respirator. His kidneys quit working, among other things. But thank the good Lord above, he's coming through it. He's off the respirator. Some of the time, they still put him back on it every once in a while. He's having to relearn how to walk. He's over in a Sarasota rehab center now, learning such things as how to operate a cell phone. He was in an induced coma for weeks. All of his memory has not returned yet. When that happened, I realized this is serious. If they say wear a mask, wear a mask. If they say wear gloves, wear them. You do not want to end up on the receiving end of a respirator for three weeks. All your memory will disappear. Today, there's a story out in the great state of Texas that helps back up my warning to you about COVID-19. This story has to do with a Marine Vietnam veteran who went through something very similar to what my friend experienced, and he is beating it, just like my friend. He has a message for us all that I'm going to pass on to you because it's so important. That is, if you like living and breathing on your own. Otherwise, don't listen to this story and don't worry about it. The story I'm going to share with you comes from KVEO-TV, headquartered in Brownsville, The story took place in Harlingen, Texas, about 25 miles away from Brownsville. The title of the story I'm going to share with you is RGV Vietnam War Veteran Tells His COVID-19 Survival Story. This report was submitted by Nathaniel Puente, and he did a great job. That's another reason I'm sharing it with you. Oh, and by the way, if you're not from Texas... You probably don't know what RGV means. I'm ashamed to say that I forgot temporarily, and I should have known. I lived out in Texas for a total of five years, assigned to Fort Hood, Texas, and spent a little time up at Fort Walters, Texas, near Fort Worth. I forgot what it was, but thank goodness for a wonderful lady right there at KVEO-TV. Her name is Donna Zapata. 
and she kindly told me, RGV means Rio Grande Valley. When she told me that, I could have kicked myself. My good buddy, the late, great Frank Rabbert, who I went to flight school with and who lived in San Antonio, Texas, would be very disappointed that I forgot what RGV means. Also, I want to let you know, if you're not from Texas, Harlingen, Texas is right down at the southern tip of the state, right there near South Padre Island. It's a great place down there. They grow a lot of oranges and other things. We have a serious mission on this podcast, and let's get to it. This Marine Vietnam veteran's name is Edwin Howell, and true to the tradition, Marines are tough. After you hear his story, you will realize why you have to be very tough to survive something like this. Let's take a look at Edwin Howell's story. Dateline, Harlingen, Texas. 71-year-old Edwin Howell has seen a lot in his lifetime. During the late 1960s, Howell served as a radio operator and truck driver during the Vietnam War for the U.S. Marines. The horrifying experiences he dealt with during those years stuck with him for the rest of his life. But nothing could prepare him for the battle he fought with COVID-19 in July and August of 2020. During the time he had the virus, Howell said his breathing was extremely limited and his lungs were operating at dangerously low levels. That means he was basically choking to death with no air. Howell said that in Vietnam he suffered from malaria, typhus, and a severe flu, but nothing compared to what he dealt with here. When Howell first fell ill to the virus, he called for an ambulance to pick him up, but was stunned at what the EMS workers told him. They said if I was taken directly to the hospital, I would sit there for a few hours and then be forced to go home, Howell revealed. The only way I could get help is if my wife drove me to the ER. For nine days, Howell was admitted to the Exceptional Emergency Center in Harlingen and received treatment for COVID-19. It was there that he received the help that saved his life. Howell said this, If it wasn't for my wife, the exceptional workers at the ER, and God, I would not be here today. I'm going to say this, and if it offends anybody, that's tough. Thank the good Lord above, Edwin Howell survived COVID-19. Continuing with the story, Howell describes the days he spent in that hospital as an absolute nightmare. I consider myself extremely lucky to have survived. According to Howell, four or five people died from COVID-19 during the time he was admitted to the center but he was able to withstand the worst conditions. They always say Marines are tough, and Edwin Howell proved it. Continuing, Howell was released from the emergency center this week and is returning to good health. During his hospitalization, he lost more than 30 pounds, but he is happy that he is feeling better and his oxygen levels are returning to normal with the help of an oxygen concentrator. Now that Howell is back home, he is advising the public to take the virus seriously and take all precautions necessary, including staying at home at all times. You do not want what I just had, assured Howell. Wear your gloves, wash your hands, and put your mask on. That's the trick that's going to keep you from getting this stuff. Again, Almost every day I hear macho people saying, we don't need to do all that. It's not that bad. But I'm telling you, it is. Take my advice and Edwin Howell's advice. Follow those simple rules. Continuing, Howell stresses that the virus can impact anyone. No matter if you're 25 or 65, it can hit you. If you're not in great shape, it can decimate you. The scenes Howell witnessed from the ER were reminiscent of the makeshift hospital set up during his time in the Vietnam War. While Howell said the two scenarios are hard to compare, he did say there was some common ground between the two. 
I saw some pretty traumatic experiences that were imprinted on me for the rest of my life in Vietnam, and now COVID-19 is one of them, explain how. That's why I'm trying to tell you younger guys, try not to experience it. Howell served as a U.S. Marine from 1968 to 1971. Upon returning from the war, Howell's battalion was sent to police the 1971 May Day protest in Washington, D.C. Wait a minute. That can't be true. All I've heard on the TV when all these protests and rioting was going on was that the military was not allowed to go into the cities to put down the protest. I guess that's another bit of fake news. Getting back to the story. Howell, originally from Virginia, met his wife in Houston in the early 1980s before moving down to the Rio Grande Valley where he made a living working as a locksmith. And you know what? I'll bet he was one outstanding locksmith because he is a member of the Vietnam Veteran Generation, one as great as any that ever heeded the call of duty from its country. When those veterans came home from serving over in Vietnam, they were older, wiser, stronger, and better able to deal with adversities than their non-Vietnam veteran contemporaries. That's why I can say with a 99% assuredness that Edwin Howell did a great job working as a locksmith down in Harlingen, Texas. The story ends with this line. Edwin Howell, the U.S. Marine, is thankful to have beaten the virus and continues to live the good life down in Harlingen, Texas. That is the story of a that is the story of a Marine Vietnam veteran who beat COVID-19 down in Harlingen, Texas. He has a very important message for us all. COVID-19 is a very serious thing. We should all do everything we can to prevent us coming down with it. That means wear a mask. If you don't like wearing masks, that's tough. Wear a mask anyway. For your own good, you do not want to come down with COVID-19 and spend three weeks on a respirator like my friend did here in Lake Placid, Florida. Take the words of Edwin Howell seriously to protect you and your loved ones from coming down with this terrible virus. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. This is Mac Payne closing out episode 1819 of the Vietnam Better News Podcast. Thank you so much for coming to listen to these stories. You are cordially invited to return again soon and often to listen to more that will be coming your way on this podcast, the Vietnam Veteran News. How about that? Ain't that a mess?